Yeah, we're tied 1-1 between Reunited and Flat Earth. Flat Earth is uh, impressing people today. We're going to Gibraltar, which could be very one-sided, as we've seen in the past. Yeah, really, it's been a very variable map in terms of the team's performance on it. I, you will see a team stomp on it one uh, day and then get stomped on it the other. It uh, has some of the more variants, I guess, of the maps in the map pool. Yeah, I was uh, playing with some of the eccentric guys, or eccentric, rather. I say it different ways every time I say it, but uh, one of the big problems is getting past this second point. Once the door shuts and you only have four very small doors of access, it's very easy to get spammed out and trying to get into the hangar. And even once you get into the hangar, the, the defensive team often has the high ground on this shuttle and on both ledges, so it's really a difficult task for the offensive team to be able to break defensive positions. So on, uh, let's see, on defense, we are, we're actually, let me look at offense because I actually think Unfix is probably going to stay on this D.Va because of the points I mentioned. It's really important to take the high ground on this map and also to be able to break points on the high ground and D.Va is a tank that absolutely excels in that. So I'd be surprised if we see Unfix switch off of D.Va actually and it looks like everyone else is going to play their standard roles. I really doubt Morte <laughs> is going to play May. Uh, Too Easy might be on Tracer. She has uh, some benefits on this map, but other than that, we're going to see mostly standard play, but I think we will see this D.Va sticking. <clears throat> Yep, well, look at the defensive, and we got Lynx on Genji, Outsider on Reaper, Vonathil on Zenyatta, so no Symmetra coming out from him early, Drakeus on Reinhardt, Kawa on Lucio, and Arts here, again, on the McCree. Yeah, absolutely standard lineup from Team Flat Earth, and it looks like Too Easy is going to stick on this Tracer, and Unfix actually switches off the D.Va, making me look foolish, and he's on Winston. Good for him. Similar concept though, you do want to tank, they can take this high ground, obviously it's not going to be Reinhardt, so they're going to want Winston to be up here uh, as soon as his bubble is back on cooldown, I think you're going to see him vault and try to get up to the high ground. Yep, uh, very very likely. Uh, they are running the uh, Winston-Reinhardt, sort of the uh, original go-to 1-2 tank combo of Overwatch with... Used to be paired with Mercy Lucio, but not so much nowadays. <laughs> that was so cool. Bromos, uh, Bromos and Morte are both running double Lucio. They went in the flank and went up and then used the, the Lucio sound barrier to launch them off the cliff and put some targets down to their team below. It didn't quite work out for them as they're all dying now, but it was a really cool concept. Yeah, we see too easy on the offensive tracer. Is able to kill Genji, uh, doing a little bit of work, but unfortunately most of his team is dead, so he's just gonna have to wait for people to get back in to continue doing... Uh, his tracer work in general. Yeah, the double Lucio composition is actually kind of easy. They're roaming around together as a squad outsider gets to blink up unnoticed. He is behind the whole team with the orb. He is just taken out by Tracer. Some really nice headshot tracking coming out from Too Easy. Too Easy throws the bomb, doesn't get anything out of it. Uh, both teams sort of trading off kills, but really the payload is continually moving here. Yeah, kind of forcing that transcendence out too, which is a nice little victory. Both teams even up right now, and it's just going to kind of be a brawl. Although our Winston goes down, Winghaven trying to reset up an offensive point, and they're going to have to wait for reinforcements here. Yeah, Too Easy is taken out in the corner. Uh, Arts here doing a lot of work, gang, picking up three kills in that fight. Yeah, they should and have waited. And the payload for... is just going to get stalled out here. They should have waited for reinforcements. There was no reason for Winghaven to be that far up. What's he going to do except die? Yep, and wow, look at the shots for, coming out from Artira. Two headshots on Lucy at range, almost taking him out uh, from very far away. Yeah, and Outsider still on this upper position here, although Too Easy switches onto Pharaoh, which I think is a good switch. For some reason, Pharaoh's fallen out of the meta, but Too Easy is bringing it back. Some good mobility there, takes out uh, the Reaper, and now he's going to take this high ground. I mean, Pharaoh generally is pretty good, but he has to be afraid of Artyr here. Artyr has been very on point as McCree, and you got to think that's his priority to shoot him out of the sky. That being said, Artyr dies to the rocket spam through the corridor, so some nice pickoffs from Too Easy, and Reunited now very much on their way to the second checkpoint. Yeah, the tanks are just cleaning house. Winghaven and Unfixed went in. They're both. Winston's taking this upper ground. Reaper's in a terrible spot. He's going to get picked off by Too Easy eventually and some really nice space clearing by both Winghaven and Onfix using the ultimates of the tanks to really set the pacing here. Yep, so uh, more time being added onto the clock and really uh, reunited with a lot of room to sort of get through the hangar. I mean, six minutes, that's a lot of time, and uh, Farrah pretty good for the hangar phase as well. Yeah, the problem is they need to stay on this cart and get it moved fast enough and uh, not get spammed off because these doors are shutting behind them and you're almost locked in now. So if they get pushed out of the hangar as a team, it's going to be hard to get back in. It looks like they have good momentum now. And as you said, Farrah doing a lot of work in this hangar phase of the map. Yeah, but she does have the orb on her too, which is helping her a little bit against the McCree poke. And Artyr is going to go down. So with Artyr down, 
that effectively clears the skies for too easy going out forward here. Yeah, Morte forced into a transcendence, and we have the counter transcendence by Vonathil, and things are getting a little bit ugly in this room. Wow, that's a big fight to happen in such a small area. Winghaven with a couple kills, though. Link's cleaning it up as well. It's going back and forth. It's going back and forth, but the one uh, constant is that the payload has been moving this entire time. So really, uh, Flight Earth has to sort of get it together and uh, solidify their defense a little bit here, because right now, Reunite might, might be saying a time that they're not going to be able to beat. Outsider goes on to 76, and he plays 76 in such a strange way, a very flanking 76, always coming from unexpected areas, not exactly that DPS in the back line. So he's going for a flank up top, actually, through the shuttle. He gets taken out quickly by too easy, though. Oh, the reflected high noon killing Volta. Volta, a uh, little bit uncharacteristic, but nice reflect coming out from Lynx. And Lynx now in the back, uh, gets kicked by Morte. Looks like he was going to get him, but... Morte just barely living there. Yeah, too easy drop the barrage, didn't get the uh, the value that he wanted out of there. Push back a little bit. Unfix might be ill-advised going in here. He does pick up a kill. Now he's an outsider. Oh, he went in because he had Primal Rage ready. He is ready to just clean space. Everyone's getting knocked into this oh. room. McCree getting juggled. That's one thing you don't want to be as McCree is uh, trying to do DPS to a Winston in Primal Rage. He's just way too tanky to deal with under most circumstances. Yeah, but despite that Primal Rage being pretty effective and pushing everyone back in the corner, the reinforcements have a long way to go. They are able to reestablish themselves in the hangar, but now they're very far back, and defense finally gets a solid footing here. Yep, and taking a look at it again, uh, we do see the payload pretty much stalled at this point for a while. Uh, really, uh, Flat Earth finding the, within themselves to sort of stabilize, and now Reunited having issues getting through this part of the hangar phase. Yeah, too easy again switching characters. He switches characters more than anyone else in all of Overwatch. Yeah, he has very frequent sometimes. He might be switching up again here. Uh, his Tracer has not gotten as much value as he probably would have liked for quite a bit now. But then again, that's look what's happening in the back kills, line. That's, yeah. yeah, that's so many kills for United. Really a team effort as everyone's sort of in on it. But Volta probably the uh, backbone again doing so much damage as McCree. Yeah, it looks like Drakase is actually just going to back out. He's not going to try to stall this out. Vonathil looking to chase to try to keep his Reinhardt alive is now in a bad position himself as Zenyatta. And he's going to die too. Yep, and uh, they do bring it to the next point, uh, around uh, 5.30 or so, so... That's the case the of, a, of a tank on your team actually killing your support, because the support group just really wants to save him, but he ends up in a bad position. Yep. So again, Reunited really rolling through here, and this is a point where usually you'd think Flat Earth would be able to hold for a while, but sometimes you see teams just blitz through here, and it can be difficult to stop. Too easy, switching again, he's on Offensive Widowmaker. I do like the Offensive Widow switch here. The Offensive Widow switch on this long sight line can really get a lot of value. Yeah, but a big initiation from the defense coming in. Lynx with a couple really quick kills Ooh. too. Lynx uh, just got smashed by the Reinhardt, but didn't actually die from that. So uh, full team wipe coming out from Flat Earth and Flat Earth uh, making a statement here. And now Reunited not only has to regroup, but they might end up getting a little bit spawn camped here as yeah, well. Yeah, Lynx all the way back. This is one of the brutal points, too. We talk about trying to get into Hangar, but this one is really tough. There's really only two doors to come in, and they're all on the same angle. So Spam is really effective at trying to shut out an offensive team, and it takes a lot to try to break through. Lynx in the back line with this orb, too, is going to do a lot of work. They don't even spot him yet. Yeah, Winghaven uh, trying to get forward. He does have Earth Shatter at the ready. He's looking for it. He does charge the other Reinhardt. Will he be able to get the kill? Swings Hammer once. Yes, down goes Reinhardt, and now uh, both teams training off kills, but because their tanks are still alive, I feel like this is a little bit more favored for Reunited here. No, it was Valo... Oh my god, Valo Tai finally takes out Link. He dies for it too. It was really cool what they did there. Link's had the orb on him, and then they, they used the Transcendence, and Bonifil abandoned the rest of his team, only went in with Link's and tried to clean up the back lines, and they did some work back there, but now with these respawns, uh, it looks like Reunited's in a pretty decent position to try to push this back. I'm gonna note, by the way, you do have another switch up. Too easy now on Zarya. So again, uh, too easy switching it up yet again. Lots of ults going down. Transcends is down for the reunite side. It's really helping them stay alive uh, on this alt onslaught. They have two people down on a flat Earth. Now four. So a big team wipe coming out, and now reunited is potentially in position to win the map. Onifix has had a, a really good win game. The tanks for Reunited have played to a better level than I've seen them play for a lot of their matches. They're absolutely dictating pace and positioning. This Primal Rage at the door. They're not even going to be able to get out. This is sick. He knocks Reinhardt off the edge. Yep. And Meanwhile, there goes though, off the edge. Look at Artyr. Artyr's picked up two kills and he's working on a third. They have to kill Artyr. Artyr doing so much work. Too easy. Almost going down. Not down just yet. Barely staying alive, but finally goes down. And Artyr being the defensive rock 
for uh, Flat Earth there. I have no idea how Vonathil didn't get knocked off by that Primal Rage. He was over the cliff. He must have surfed his way back in somehow using the power of Zen. That was crazy. Some cool ultimates coming out through Primal Rage. Uh, look at Outsider now. He's in such a strange position. Outsider, uh... He's pretty far back there, I gotta say. So yeah. we do have a... Uh, Graviton Surge coming out, sucking a lot of people in, uh, forces the Transcendence it. out, but look at the defense here. Link's going deep in. Really, uh, team's going one for one for one here. But Reunited now turning the momentum in their favor. They're going to push up, and they are going to take this fight and yeah, potentially four, the round. Five kills. Unfixed is going to set up right outside of this door again, and he's going to hope that they come out. He's got Primal Rage ready, making such great use of it. Wow. There you have it. So... That time is definitely beatable by Flat Earth, but it's not the slowest time in the world either. Yeah, we see a lot of teams get absolutely uh, flat out stopped on Gibraltar too. Unfixed on his Winston was absolutely incredible this game. He used Primal Rage uh, to such great advantage. Yeah, and Winston's one of those heroes where some teams have performed, some teams don't, but really Primal Rage can be a very, very big game breaker. Just the amount of health it puts on you, and especially a last point like that, where they're all coming out of that spawn door, which is right next to a cliff. He used it to really reposition the other teams several times. And both the tank plays, Winghaven and Onfix, have been the reason that Reunite is doing so well today. Look at that. Artier getting, uh, well, I guess it's all from his own team, uh, getting no votes from uh, the uh, Reunited side. But there you go. Yeah, too easy switches characters more than any other uh, individual player in all of Overwatch. I think I can say that confidently. I see him switch four to five times a game, and I'm of two minds of it. One, I really like it. I think it's really smart. He just has to make sure he's doing it when ultimates are down, so he's not wasting ultimate charges or value ultimates. I think he's making the right decisions, too. And also, it's really hard for an enemy team to deal with that. They have no idea what he's coming up as. All of a sudden, there's a Pharah out of nowhere. Where did this Tracer come from? They're running a Widow now? Why is this happening to us? They can't can't really prepare a good composition to defend against a guy who's playing four to five different heroes during a single map. No, definitely not. So, going into the defensive uh, lineup here, uh, actually Re Reunited not picking anything just yet, really. Uh, no, though, they'll probably... Um, actually, no, I'm not going to say probably anything. I I'll tell you this, Valutaya is probably going to run McCree. I feel that's a safe bet. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty safe. I, I've yet to see him on anything but McCree under normal circumstances. Yeah, so same goes for our tier as well. But defensively, a little bit of a switch up. They're not going to be running double tanks on defense, which I think is kind of smarter on this map. But too easy is going to play Genji, uh, another hero in his arsenal. Unfixed is actually going to be on 76, which I really like for defense on this map. You can just kind of hold high grounds and poke away from a distance outside to replace him much more aggressively than most do. Uh, Winghaven apparently just having a grand time on Winston going bananas there, so he's going to stay there, but this composition looks uh, pretty, pretty stout for Reunited. Well, interesting stuff coming out here is that we actually have a Offensive Widow uh, for Flat Earth, so they're not wasting any time pulling out the Offensive Widow pretty early here. I actually, um, I, I'll be surprised, but I'll be so happy if they can't, so they stay on double Winston's here. They, they had triple for a second, but what Winston's going to do is he's going to disrupt them so much and distract them while Widow is just picking off the back lines. Yep, so here comes the offensive Widow. Let's take a look. Oh, I love the grapple, uh, like, leap up you can do where you do the grapple, but go uh, a little bit further up in the air. It's really nice, gives you a little bit of extra height, but an R tier quickly taking out Winghaven. Links with a pick on unfixed. So nice stuff coming out from... Uh, flat Earth early on. Wow, what a shot on Morte. Lynx is on fire. Yeah, Lynx with a couple really crucial picks there. The card is going to keep moving. They're going to stay on this Widow, too. And this Widow with this sight light Holy now opened crap. up. My goodness. Lynx has just been opening it up on Reunited here, just hitting every snipe and making pretty much all them headshots. Yeah, look at great. this position she's on, too. She gets Helix Rocket out because she was looking for that early pick as they come through the doors. She does have to reposition herself, but this card is already through the first arch, and they have really good high ground advantage, too. Have to take a look at Lynx. Lynx uh, does have good shots here, potentially. Does miss the Lucio, however. Uh, Artyr and Volta trading off a bit on kills. And if Lynx can get another pick here, it's going to be exactly what she needs, and she does get Morte. So... Flat Earth is really rolling fast here. Definitely going through this quicker than Reunited did. Yeah, this is a, this is a, a crazy pace. That at some point they have to dedicate someone to deal with this Widowmaker because right now they have no answers. 
And why don't we just content to sort machine gun down the Discord Orb Soldier? Not able to get him though, so might have been a mistake. Outsiders and he's going to take this top shuttle and Widowmaker in the background. See, they they have to focus on the Winston, and that means that they're not spamming Widow out of these doorways. Yep. Oh, and down goes too easy, getting sniped and two shots by Lynx. And I don't even want to change the camera view from Lynx because he is setting the pace of the game right now. It's really going to be up to too easy to respond to this. Yep. And he comes back in a tracer. It's exactly what I thought he was going to do. They have to answer this Widowmaker. She is winning them the game right now. He also could have come back as the counter widow, the counter snipe. Sometimes I can work too in shutting down other widows. Or reversing the momentum. Yeah. But uh, Wing and Votel are able to sort of uh, stabilize things a little bit here. And uh, now the, you notice that the widow's getting a much greater increased focus as she's getting spammed by multiple people, including the Lucio. Yeah, but offense has all their ultimates up. They're going to use transcendence to try to, I'm not sure why, maybe win this fight a little bit, but it's defended pretty well. Yep, we see Widow just not afraid to even go into Battle Widow here and just going for that. She has yet to go down in this game. Uh, They're pushing more for it in and... Yeah, let's take a look at uh, Too Easy here as Tracer. Will he be able to get in on the Widow? Right now, uh, he's knocked down by Earthshower, so I don't think that's going to happen now. And down he goes. They, they are absolutely rolling flat earth off the course, uh, off the back of this Widowmaker. Out here also killing a couple people as well. They have all the momentum in the world right now. They have so much time here. Uh, Morte is trying to come in and drop a sound barrier, and Reunited is just getting crunched in this game. Yeah, this is devastating. So aggressive. Look how far forward this McCree is. And now, uh, Too Easy switching the Widows for a last ditch attempt. I think they're just trying to throw out anything that works. Uh, Too Easy is able to get an R tier, so maybe this is what they need that works. We're going to have an R tier, or Too Easy versus Lynx here in just a second. But he has the aid of his Reiner shield. He, he is does, able to he get the counter snipe, though. That's a super yep. important. Lynx is down, and too easy is a world class Widowmaker. We've seen him several times dominate games just like Lynx did there. So this might actually be their only hope to turn the tide. A couple of quick picks there is great. He might even be able to dissuade Lynx from playing Widowmaker. Uh, he does get yeah. taken out himself, though. The thing that's just really uh, not the greatest for them right now is the fact that uh, Flat Earth has five and a half minutes. I mean, they bought themselves so much time for this last point. Yeah, uh, they are capable of holding this last. This last isn't the easiest to push in, very easy to delay. Uh, we've seen this is the map where Diva Spam was actually invented. Oh, very nice flashback coming from Vata. Over the head of Reinhardt, taking him out. Really love how Reinhardt's or McCree's are sort of Reinhardt breakers. It's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, hitting those flashbangs over the shield feels so dirty. It, it's so cool to see. But we've got Widows uh, only up on the defensive side now. So too easy. Was able to dissuade Lynx from playing Widowmaker. That's going to help them. But Lynx is now on Genji instead. Yep. So a uh, little bit of switch up here. Uh, no, too as easy you say, takes no more Beautiful pick. Yeah, just taking out the Zion to begin with. That means he's not building ult for Transcendence. Hang on, though. We have focus in on the Widow, and down he goes. Lynx able to take out the Widowmaker, but I think the damage might have been done with that early pick. Yeah, it's going to be surprising. It's going to be interesting to see what Too Easy uh, stays on Widowmaker. No, he actually jumps into a Pharah real quick. Artier, I believe, uh, making it high noon right now. And Artier, Lynx, and Kawa doing a lot of work, and here comes Flat Earth. And they're going to get a lot of very necessary payload pushing off this. Yeah, that's four dead. And the only one off Farad just taken down. Now, Winghaven now the only one alive. He does not have an ultimate ready. Unfixed is going to be coming up with a Primal Rage. It's going to be, have to be the Primal Rage of this his is, life. This is looking so, so good right now for Flat Earth. I mean, they still have four minutes left to bring this here. You've got to like their position right now. High Noon comes out for our tier. And really, uh, the staggered deaths are just killing Reunited right now. Yeah, that was that was an impressive showing from Flat Earth. They just decimated a team that I consider top three in Europe easily every time I make a list. But my goodness, let's take a look at Dra Draco. Is it Dracus or Dracius? I'm saying Dracius. I, I don't know. I say everyone's name differently every time I pronounce it. Oh my God! Oh, the Earth shattered. That was. A I knew there was a big earth shatter. I didn't realize it was quite that big. That was a four man earth shatter. And no wonder they were able to just get through the hangar relatively uncontested. Yeah, so the Widowmaker entering the meta is, is still a thing. What a game changing play on Widowmaker that was. She was always super far ahead. And we kind of saw it really in early days when we first started seeing Widowmaker. I think Melty's crew was running Widowmaker. Just how aggressive she can be because of that mobility with a grappling hook and her ability to fight mm -hmm. one on one if she gets cornered. But every time she gets a pick and the other team's spawning, she's at the front line. She's ahead of the tanks and everything, looking for that one shot to equalize things. And 
they off the back of those Widowmaker kills, they just absolutely rolled. That was beautiful.